Good morning, everybody. Hopefully everybody is well. It's been a long while since I posted a video. Um, four months, I think. I haven't had much to say, in all honesty. And I've been busy working on, uh, on a game, a board game. Um, so I may be starting a Kickstarter here in the next few months because it's, uh, it's about 75% done, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit more. I'm looking for writers and I will be looking for writers and, and to figure out, um, either sell it or or actually publish it myself but it costs a lot of money to publish so I may have to start a Kickstarter I don't know anybody who even has knowledge of that kind of stuff so so I would have to find somebody so the very small reach that I have may be one of you could, one of, if one of you have like um, writing experience or um, marketing experience, or I'm mostly Canadian because um, I'm just poor white trash, so I can't actually travel far and wide. So, but I can travel to say like Vancouver or Calgary or somewhere but where I'm situated Vancouver or Calgary would be the best bet so if any of my subscribers um, actually uh, do have writing experience and, uh, and knowledge of marketing and uh, or how to start a Kickstarter or anything like that just leave in the comments just leave in the comments and maybe just maybe we can um, work together but uh, the game that I've been working on has consumed a lot of my time for the last since February I guess it's the closest I've ever come to finishing it so I'm getting pretty excited but still there needs to be um, some play testing and there needs to be some some balancing of power and uh, and other things but um, but like I said if any of you have uh, any experience with writing or or um, it's a dark fantasy game so 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 I need lore and I actually need some help getting the um, the armies together and uh, and stuff like that but um, with that being said how's everybody I appreciate all those who have stayed I know it's been quite some time since I published a video but like I've said in my last video I just don't have much to say anymore and um, and the world is just going more and more insane. But on the same hand, things seem to be shifting in the right direction. People are standing up against critical race theory. People are waking up to the liar in chief. And, uh, you know, you can't believe the lamestream legacy media, obviously, of course, but but um, but Joe Biden's uh, corpse Biden's approval rating is like down in the low twenties percent. Even his constituents in the Democratic, the Demon Rat Party of the United States of America, Justin Trudeau, can't even leave his little ivory tower without being 
ridiculed and spit on and and tossed. He's just proven himself with the trucker convoy and everything else. He's just proven himself to be a petty tyrant. And everybody is waking up to it. So that is a good thing. Things are shifting in the right direction, it would seem. People are getting thrown in jail for... for pedophilia, you know, and... Um, it's a strange time we're living in, people. We're at the... we're at the brink of something Either we're going to go the way of the dinosaur or we're going to actually move towards a brighter and more prosperous future. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep on holding the line, people, and stand with our convictions and pray for those to come back to the fold. I don't know what to talk about, people. It's just one of these things, you know. I have, I have been, like I said, I've been very busy working on being creative and uh, trying to figure out how this uh, game system is going to work. It's already had a couple play tests, but, um, but it, I need to balance the power. I need to find balance and uh, stuff like that. But like I said, it's about 70, 75 to 80% done. Almost ready for print. Um, but um, we'll see. It may be this, it may be what I need to uh, move out of this, this, um, uh, this place that I'm in, this place of uh, loneliness and misery, there, um, there is changes happening, and um, and change is coming, and sometimes change is good, and sometimes change is bad, you know. With the farmers out in, in uh, the Netherlands, all of Europe standing with them, you know, Americans and Canadians standing with in solidarity with the Neverland, Netherlands, you know, people are slowly awakening, and these globalists, they don't know what they have awakened. And we can only hope that the strength of our people will succeed in their um, absolution. The, the globalists are running scared right now. They're attacking Alex Jones. They're trying to bankrupt him. They're trying to lawfare him into ruin nation because they know that the message is getting out and they cannot operate in the darkness anymore. They've become emboldened because of the ignorance of humanity. But slowly, people are waking up. So that is a good sign. Sorry, my backdrop is a bit smaller than my usual one, but my TV has decided, my old TV is just, my other TV has decided to um, burn out. So, so I need to get a new TV or get it fixed. But what, you know, it's just the backlight is gone, but um, that's not here nor there. I also still need a new computer so I can actually start producing more videos again and uh, and creating, you know, better intros and better outros 
And um, it's all just a matter of perspective, really. Um, since I've been in this town, I haven't really, I haven't really gotten much in the way of, um, you know, the old adage, you know, one step ahead and four steps back. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm four steps back from where I started, you know, and the, and the cost of everything's gone up, you know, and they keep on. You know, like I said, like four months ago, they're trying to push food shortages around the world. Bill Gates is buying up lands and um, and it was just foretold, not foretold, but it was just reported like, you know, three or four days ago that Monsanto has bought and Monsanto has bought and um, 1.5 million hectares of land in the Ukraine. Why is Monsanto buying 1.5 million hectares in the Ukraine? Bill Gates being the largest farm owner in the world, as they're pushing beyond meat, you know, genetically altered and genetically modified food, soy products to further emasculate men and, and lower our sperm counts. And uh, because if you know anything about soy products, it's really not very good for anybody. And uh, they like to push these soy products because it lowers the sperm count of men and lowers and, uh, and actually and men start producing more estrogen and um, so men become more um, more feminized they know exactly what they're doing people so I implore all of you to um, find your local farmer and uh, and get and try to support your local communities because uh, you know, because we need to stand with each other. We need, we the people need to unite and we need to de-globalize our economies so we can continue being prosperous. So we can be more reliant on each other instead of big daddy government. I know that my subscribers know all this and I hope that you peoples are making preparations for the future. And uh, like I said, I'm sure there's many of you that are much smarter than me that have already made preparations for the future and are already making, um, already making gains to um, ensure your family's safety and protection. And like I said, we must support our local farmers and um, and try to, you know, make sure that we spend our money where it counts. And that's local, localization and, um, and uh, to not only share the cost of, of raising animals and uh, growing food, but localization is, is the best bet we can, that's the best, that's the best, that's the best path to, um, to um, securing our own food. Like, like I said a few months back, they are pushing for food shortages across the world. And this whole Ukraine war is a farce. And I think more and more people are becoming awake to the, um, to the propaganda. I, I don't think the propaganda is working on a large majority of people. But like I said, we, I can't stress enough. We need to start localizing our, our, um, our food. Like our food supply needs to be localized. We can't, we can't rely on this global system anymore. And when, you know, 
there's reports all around the, all around North America, Ukraine, or not Ukraine, but Europe, of big companies asking farmers not to bring their their product to market and uh, paying them exuberant amount of money to not bring product to market. It's not it's not just a conspiracy. It's absolutely reality, and this is what they're trying to do by the year 2023. So if you do have monies in the banks, I know that my, my subscribers are smart enough to know, but you must take your money and then reinvest it in gold, silver, or any precious metals like copper, gold, um, and uh, anything, anything else. Get solid assets in order. Like right now in North America, we still have a good, we still can buy gold at a reasonably good price. Get your money out of, out of Bitcoins and actually put it into um, actual assets like gold, silver, copper, precious metals, even, even, even precious elements like potash and stuff like that. I mean, we really need to... Um, Take our money out of the banking systems. I know it's hard, and I know that most people are just trying to get by. But at the end of the day, the banking system is about to collapse. The Royal, the Federal Reserve is about to collapse uh, all around the world. The whole Federal Reserves around the world are about to collapse. The Canadian dollar is, is, is collapsed. The American dollar is about to collapse. The, um, the English pound has already collapsed and the euro is about to collapse, but they keep on propping up the euro, obviously. But, but the only money you could invest in right now is probably the, um, the Russian rupo. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, rupo. Russia is actually making gains. And I implore all you to stand with Russia. You know, because you may have an opinion about Vladimir Putin. Like I've said in previous videos, we must stand with the bear. Because the bear is doing what the bear needs to do. And that is demolishing the new world order. And even superpower, like even China is going against the new world order. And uh, India. There are things happening in the world that we don't even know what's happening behind the scenes. There are people that are doing the right thing, like Viktor Orban in Hungary and um, Vladimir Putin in Russia. And, you know, I'm still on the fence with uh, Xi Jinping, but, and I don't like communist China at all, but they are standing against the new world order but they are, they're not to be trusted. China is buying great swaths of land all around the world because their, their, their money is actually worthless. And they're posturing for war. But I think they are weak. They're, um, they, um, they're desperate to feed their people. So, um, lots of things are happening. But, on the same hand, it's, it's like a, we're on the uh, precipice of something. I, I'm not sure what it is, but we are going to go the way of the dinosaur or we're going to go into a brighter future, like I said earlier. Anyways, people, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm still here. Um, sorry I haven't made very many videos lately, but it's just that I haven't really had much to say. And, um, and, um, and I feel that my content has become rather redundant. And, uh, 
not that it was ever good in the first place, but I appreciate all those who have come. And I appreciate all those who have stayed. So, you know, I'm grateful for all of you. May you look forward. May you look beyond. May you live in life.